Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Rydell. Today is April 29th. I'm pre-recording this video because I'm out of town on military service and I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I'm gay and married to a man. My husband is super awesome. Um, so today, so I read comments. And I think there's a lot of stuff that needs to be said about the comments that are coming out. And I've been researching like what other people are saying. And so I'm active. I go to church every Sunday, except when I'm out of town military service or uh, part of the month of April, I was in LA with my husband because his family is there and we were celebrating Passover. And when we go on trips and things, um, and church isn't afforded to me. So for a long time, my testimony has been a trial of my faith. Um, from when I was 16, trying to like double down on, is this the right thing for me? I feel like I can finally breathe. I've been like fighting so hard to keep my head above water that for me, I feel a little bit like Job, that I lost my family, I lost some friends. Um, but what I've gained in return is so rich and rewarding. I feel like the people that are around me now see me for the full person that I am and not the parts of a person that I was. I feel like it's time that... I encourage you to have a trial of your faith and question and answer why are the things happening the way they're happening? I encourage you to. Um, I know what it's like to have everything ripped out from under you and where it's hard to breathe and that you're, you're standing there thinking, am I going to go back to church? Do I even have any anything left to give and is there anything left to receive by going to church it's hard going to church and it has been hard going to church and it has been unwelcoming even in the most welcoming of situations there is a hard current that I think we need to talk about and I can't put my finger on it the pulpation the palpation that this sentiment is at most churches of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints around the country where I've been is that gays are not welcome. And I mean, we're less than a month into this new policy change. We, and how, and how fast can members truly move and change to accept these things? I mean, what? I mean, there's people that have made very adamant um, comments about um, the the fact that their their faith was shaken and that they don't agree with this, and that's fine. You have to come to terms and processes because I had a long time. I had to figure things out for myself. I still hadn't figured them out when the policy changed, but I was hoping for a change. I honestly don't know what the, like, what's coming. I honestly don't know, but I do believe in prayer. I do believe in personal revelation. And I do understand, like, love and compassion. Um, those are things that I don't feel like were taught to me as much as they are natural to me. Um, so if you're having a hard time with it, talk to someone. I encourage you to talk to your friends and relatives about it. Also talk to LGBT people in your area who get to know them as people. They're people. Share your testimony with them and you'll hear theirs. Invite them to church like I would invite you to church. Just send me a message and I'll gladly welcome you to come to my ward. It's a fun little word. We welcome everyone. It's great. I love it. 